Hey, what's up you guys? It has been a long time. It's been a really, really long time actually. And I feel like the last time I was uploading a video, I was saying the same thing. So I have just been off my YouTube schedule uploading routine for a very long time, but I've had this video planned. I actually, hold on. I bought this tripod to put in my car, but unfortunately the little suction part is not sticking to my dashboard. I want to do like a whole car vlog where we went shopping. So that's still gonna be the plan for today. I'm hunting for some new body care. It's been a long time since I've really been excited about a new body care collection. And there is a new Dove holiday collection at Walmart that I am dying to get my hands on. And there are some new scrubs and other products at Target as well. So for sure gonna be hitting up Target, Walmart's, like multiple Walmarts if I have to. And I thought about going to like maybe TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I just feel like the body care section there lately hasn't been that great. I swear I used to find so many hidden gems and recently at Marshalls, I just, I usually just see like the same products, a lot of hand soaps, just, just nothing that I really feel is worth buying. And I didn't even bother to do my hair today because it is so hot and humid outside. Like the moment I step outside, I already feel like I need to take a shower and it's already looking kind of greasy at the top, even though I just washed it. I guess because of like all the humidity or something outside. Yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff together. I'm gonna go in, see what I can find at the stores. I'll take you guys along with me. And if I don't check back in in between, then I'll wrap things up with the haul at the end of the video. Okay, so first up is Target. And as soon as I walked in, I saw a bunch of the holiday stuff. I saw a preview of this on Instagram the other day, and these look so cute in person. Like I love mix bar perfumes. So I guess this is like the most like popular scents and they made them into mini sizes. It was for $20. This, I was kind of confused at first. Like I thought it was like a blend of different perfumes, but I guess it's just like favorites from each brand, like little mini samples. And this set has to be my favorite. Like this looks so cute in person. The bottles are so tiny. I really love the Finery brand. So I actually have all three of those in the body mist, but I don't have any of the perfumes. And this is what I came in for. I did not realize that this was like a travel size. So I just randomly stumbled across it, but the new hot cocoa from Dove, definitely wanted to grab that. So much new stuff in the travel section. So many lip products. They have this little set here. And I did see that Tree Hut came out with the candy cane lip butter. Have they always been $5.99? I could have sworn they were like four, maybe $5. But anyways, I wanted to try it, so I did end up grabbing that one. And I love that they have the EOS candy cane one. I remember seeing that in a set last year, so it's nice that you can just buy it separate. And look at the mini lotion from Hemp's. I just love mini things. I love having these for my purse. I don't know if this is new. I just grabbed it just to see it real quick, but I'm pretty sure they've had that before. I love all the chapstick, like different flavors. I actually kind of collect these. I don't even know why, but this set is almost like a s'more set. It has graham cracker, a hot chocolate one, even a vanilla icing one that sounds really good. And they have this one too. I think I pretty much almost have all of these. They have a hot chocolate one and also a cake batter one. So I love these for some reason. And yeah, those would make great stocking stuffers. They have so many different lip sets. I don't know if these were flavored or not, but yeah, I just wanted to show a few of them that they had now we're on to walmart this is my favorite walmart like it's always so organized like look at the body care section it is so stocked so immediately i wanted to go check out the dove to see if they had it out they didn't have it out here it just had all the regular dove stuff but you can see they have like a new look for the body scrubs which i like i love the dove body polishes so that's the older packaging and this is the new so i'm assuming the new holiday scents are going to be in this like newer style of packaging it looks very similar just like a slight change to the label and look how much tree hut they have i remember walmart like they did not used to carry this much tree hut i'm still kind of eyeing the boba milk tea i Honestly, I don't think it smells that great, but I still kind of want it for my collection. I do really like the pumpkin spice latte scent. It smells so good. And even the candy cane scent. Like, I really like the scent from Tree Hut, even though I'm not really huge onto like peppermint scents, but that one actually smells really good. And they just had so much of it. They even had a huge native collection. I think they had the hair stuff last year, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember trying it in the candy cane scent, but I have used their hair products before and I actually really like their shampoo and conditioner. I love the sugar cookie scent. I actually already have a backup from last year of the deodorant because that one was my favorite, but 
They have the candy cane one again, and I'm pretty sure all of these are just repeats from last year's holiday collection. Here on the other side of the display, they had all the body washes. Of course, you know, sugar cookie is my favorite. I actually, I don't think I ever tried the candy cane body wash, so I don't really remember exactly what that one smells like, but if I were to go for a candy cane scent, I would more than likely go for the Tree Hut one. I came across some of the new Scent Theory body creams. They have this new one in Coconut Dreams. It's actually really sweet. It reminds me of something, but I can't figure out what exactly it smells like. I'm pretty sure this one is a new scent, but I'm surprised that it came out right now because it definitely looks like a summertime scent. I was tempted to get this Berries one because it has like a nice raspberry note. It was really sweet and fruity, but again, it kind of smells like something I already have, so I didn't end up getting that one. And a few of these, they actually do smell a lot like Bath & Body Works scents, like that Shooting Star one and the Light Up Sky. I guess they're supposed to be like in the stars and into the night. This Cozy Comfort one kind of reminds me more of like an aromatherapy scent, so I didn't end up picking up any of these. I would compare the formula of these more so to the Bath & Body Works lotions rather than the body creams because they're not as thick. They're definitely more lightweight. I that EOS came out with a fragrance-free version of their body lotion. I love the formula of their lotions. It's just, it's just one of my favorites. They have such good scents as well, so that's nice if you have more sensitive skin and you don't want anything with like too heavy of a scent. They do also have the fresh and cozy one. I think this one's been out for a couple months, but it smells really good. It's a nice kind of bedtime scent. And then back there is my favorite, the one in the purple bottle, the vanilla cashmere. Just smells so, so sweet. They also had the native lotions, and I remember these last year. I got one at Target. I got the sugar cookie one, actually, and I did not like these lotions. As much as I love native body care, I just, I wasn't a fan. The texture of the lotion, like the feeling of it, felt very sticky on my skin. I just wasn't a fan of the scent either. So there are definitely much better lotions out there. Here they have the new Sabrina Carpenter Caramel Dream Body Mist. I love the fact that they made these into body mists as well. I still haven't gotten my hands on the perfume, but definitely wanted to pick up the body mist. And I also got the original as well. And just look at all the tree hut up there. They have even more. They even have the Sweet Cream Body Butter, which is one of my favorites. It smells so, so good. This caught my eye. I'm pretty sure they've had these for a while though, but I've never tried them. Kind of reminds me of Truly, like the packaging. It's all so cute, but kind of expensive. Like, I don't know. I personally, I probably wouldn't pay it, but if anybody has tried these and it is worth it, definitely let me know because I'm curious to know if the like products are actually good because they sound good. I just don't really want to pay like $15. They also have all of these scrubs. I'm guessing it's just like the Walmart brand, but very similar to Tree Hut. They have the Sour Blue Raspberry. I'm not sure why those are two different colors. Like one is definitely like a lot more green, but a lot of these scents sound and look very similar to Tree Hut. Like that looks similar to Moroccan Rose. They have the Tahitian Vanilla, a Mango one. I haven't tried any of these yet, but I really wanted to try the Blue Raspberry one. So I didn't end up grabbing that. They also have some of the new Dr. Teal's ones. I have tried these before. Um, very like thick scrub. I actually do like the formula, but not crazy about a lot of the scents. And look, they even have a hand cream in the Fresh and Cozy scent. I thought that was really cute. I do already have the Vanilla Cashmere one, but yeah, I'm guessing that one is a new one. And I don't know if this is new or not, but maybe they just redid the packaging, but they also have this Vaseline one and they even have these Old Spice hand creams also. At the end over here, they had a new display of the Hemp's lotions. All of these are scents that they've had before in the past. Like I'm pretty sure they bring these back every single year. I do really like the Hemp's lotions. They are expensive though. So I personally, I would probably wait to get them at Ulta whenever they go on sale. But here at the back, like this is the star of the show. This is what I've been looking for. I finally came across the new Dove Body Care Collection. Like you guys, I was so excited to find this. This was at the very back. Like it was separate from all the other body care. It was more towards like the holiday stuff at my Walmart. And just look, they have everything, everything except the scrubs. I was really, really wanting the scrubs, but I'm happy I at least found a majority of the collection. So I'll definitely talk more about that and what I picked up later at the end of the video. I also saw that they brought back these soft soap body washes. I remember these came out last year too. I wasn't crazy about the holiday cookie scent. I don't remember the candy cane one though. I should have smelled that one again, but they had those in just like the regular body care aisle. 
And then I also saw that they have the new Body Ecology scents. They have the Winter Vanilla one. So I want to try out the Fragrance Mist just to see what they would smell like. This one has a blueberry note that I didn't know that it had like blueberry and vanilla. So I definitely want to try that one. And they also have this one, the Feeling Flannel. And they just give me like winter vibes, very cozy scents. So definitely wanted to try those out to see how they really smelled. I just wanted to grab the fragrance mist though, but they had the whole line. Like they had the body wash and bubble bath and they also had the matching lotions. I used to grab like matching sets to everything, but now I think I'm just sticking to more so the fragrance mist. And of course, cozy fireside s'more. They bring this one back all the time as well. It smells very similar to Bonfire Bash from Bath and Body Works. It has a nice like chocolatey note in there. It smells really good. So that one is definitely one of my fall favorites from Body Ecology. Here at the Zen Cap, they have a bunch of these soft soap hand soaps. A lot of these, they have just different labels, but they're either a peppermint scent or a sugar cookie scent. The sugar cookie one though smells like nothing to me. I smell like the peppermint one though, but yeah, the other one I couldn't really smell anything. They also had this strawberries and cream hand soap from this brand Joyful. Never tried it before, really cute packaging. They have a few other scents, but really that strawberries and cream one is the one that caught my attention. And then here at the other end of the store, I just went and checked out all the Christmas stuff and look how cute this gingerbread cookie jar is. Like that is adorable for only $10. They have so much stuff. They were putting out a lot of the stuff whenever I was there. So I was just taking a quick peek at them. Like this little tree, tree hut, tree hut, no. <laughs> tree cookie jar that looked really cute and they also had this gingerbread mug stack i've seen a lot of this similar type of stuff like at tj maxx and marshall's they even have these starbucks dupes i don't know i thought that was pretty cute actually these i thought were like five dollars no they were seven dollars i could have sworn these cups used to be like five dollars I just quickly checked out the candle section to see if there's anything new. They did have this frosted pumpkin cake. I'm pretty sure that one's new. They might've had it last year, but I swear these Walmart candles used to be better. I got some more recently and they just, they haven't been very strong at all. I did get this bourbon pecan pie, which I thought smelled pretty good. But once I burned it, I swear it smelled like chicken to me. I don't know what it is about that candle, but yeah, I wasn't a fan of that one. Of course, I gotta check out the wax melts to see if there's anything new. I saw that leaves and latte one, and hey, those used to be $2. Now they're $2.22, but I really didn't see a lot of new scents. I love the Sensational brand, like that's one of my favorites. They also had this Sweet Berry Cider. I think that one was new, but really they didn't get much in. Like a lot of these scents they've already had before. And I ended up getting this random clip of this Santa Claus there in the holiday section. Like he was a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I just wanted to throw this in at the end. Okay, I am back and I pretty much found almost everything I was looking for. I did look up the new Tree Hut Scrubs on the Target app and there is a Target that I know has them in store right now, but it's kind of on the opposite side of town. So I don't really feel like driving all that way. I definitely want to get my hands on that soon because I have to have the Marshmallow Lodge scrub. Because it's so exciting that they brought that scrub back. I haven't tried it before and it used to be really expensive online. I don't know about anymore but because it was so rare. Like people were selling it for like $100, which I never wanted to pay. So I never got to try it. And I'm pretty sure they only have it in a set. It comes with Moroccan Rose and I think Candy Cane, which I have both of those. So I hate to buy a whole set just for that one scrub. But I do like both of those scents. So eventually I would use them. But yeah, other than seeing that in store, I think I found almost everything I was looking for. Some really exciting stuff. So I'm going to head home now and I'm kind of thinking I want to get some food. Like I feel really hungry, but you know whenever you're hungry, but nothing sounds good. So yeah, I'm going to figure that out, head home, and then we will continue this video and I'll share with you guys all the things that I got. All right, so I'm back home and we can finally get into all the stuff that I got. I finally got something to eat. I ended up just making something here at home because I just, I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat. But anyways, I am so excited for these first things. So we're just going to jump right into the exciting new stuff that I did find. And now that I'm thinking about it, because I did go to this Walmart a few days ago, I'm wondering if they already had this stuff out and I just missed it because it was kind of in a weird section sort of like it wasn't really with all the other body care um the walmart that i went to the body care beauty section is kind of near the holiday section so it was kind of in between there towards the back um anyways they did have all of it out except for the scrubs i think they're going to come out with three scrubs so i definitely want to go back and see whenever they get those but 
Oh my gosh, so excited to have these. So I grabbed all the body washes. As you guys saw, they had the two pack of the bar soaps and they also had the hand washes. I didn't grab the soaps just because I, I don't know. I just prefer just the regular like Dove plain white bar soap. And I already have a bunch of hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. Let's get into the scents and what they actually smell like. So the cinnamon pumpkin pie one. I smelled these just really quickly in store. Mm. This really does smell like pumpkin pie. It does have like that hint of like cinnamon pumpkin spice, but it smells really good. Not super strong, at least out of the bottle, but it really is giving pumpkin pie. So I'm excited for this one. I have a lot of other pumpkin scents. I actually even have a new pumpkin body scrub. So I'm probably gonna pair those two together. The other one that I got is the sugar cookie one. This I was most excited for, but also I wasn't sure like how it was gonna smell because sometimes I feel like sugar cookie scents, if they're not done right, they kind of smell like Play-Doh. I don't know if you guys get those vibes, but it, I don't know, it's very artificial sometimes and it just reminds me of Play-Doh. So this one, I'm trying to see if they have like a description of the scents. I'm gonna look it up on their website actually. Okay, never mind. I went on their website and it doesn't have anything up there. So anyways, we're just going to smell this one again. Um, It is super, super light, very light scent. I can kind of get like maybe a hint of vanilla, but I'm really not getting like this gourmand cookie note. Like definitely the pumpkin pie one is a lot stronger. Yeah, this is just very light. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have that super artificial scent that I was talking about. It's just very, very, very light. Like I would just think this is more of like a vanilla body wash. So I debated even getting this one, but I wanted to try it out to see if it would smell any different when I'm actually using it in the shower. So I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on this one. But just straight out of the bottle, I'm not really getting much from that one. This one though, the peppermint bark one, it looks like those like chocolatey peppermint barks. Oh yeah, yeah, on the back here it says, fresh peppermint candy blended with rich creamy chocolate. And whenever I just smelled this quick, I could definitely pick up on the chocolate. This smells so much like the Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies, like that's exactly what it reminds me of. And I actually have a body mist. It's an old collection from Bath & Body Works. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like the mint, mint chocolate. I can't remember, but it smells just like the Thin Mint Cookies. So I am going to be layering that with this. This with either the matching scrub or the candy cane scrub from Tree Hut would smell so good. I'm not even really into like pepperminty scents, but I like that chocolatey note in here. And I just think this is like a nice fun scent to use for the holidays coming up. So yeah, I definitely want to have this one in my collection. As far as how I would rate them, hmm, I'm trying to think of which one's stronger. I think the peppermint bark one is actually the strongest, but my favorite is probably the cinnamon pumpkin pie. This just smells like fall to me and I like how it has that actual pie note. So it just smells like a little bit Bit more gourmand. Shook cookie though, we're gonna have to wait and see. Now I'm kind of curious though how the bar soap smell. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they're the same as the body washes. I think if I do go back whenever I go looking for the scrubs, I might grab the bar soap and the pumpkin pie one. So the next thing that I got here, I did not know this is gonna be miniature size. I thought it was like a full size product because I looked it up on the Target app and I saw which stores had it in stock. But this is a limited edition Dove body scrub and this is in the hot cocoa scent. And Dove, like, Dove is just doing it with the gourmands. I feel like that's what a lot of us love in body care. This really does smell like hot cocoa. It almost, you know, it kind of reminds me of cocoa pebbles. That's what it smells like to me. Hmm. It's interesting. It really does smell like cocoa powder like a mix of cocoa powder and like the cocoa pebbles cereal. I really wouldn't say this is like overly sweet. For some reason, I'm thinking of an old Lush product. I can't even remember what it was. Maybe it was like a bath bomb or something that they used to have, but I swear I've smelled something similar to this before. I just can't think exactly what it is, but this is a 3.5 ounce tub, so pretty small. And I think this was either I think it was like $4.99 at Target. I did see on their Instagram, they said it was gonna be exclusive to Target and I found mine in the little travel section near all the beauty stuff. So I would check it out there if you guys are interested in trying to find it. I don't know if it's gonna be full size or not. I've just seen so far the mini version like this. And then one other thing that I did end up grabbing is the candy cane lip butter. I really like just the original one. I actually don't mind the candy cane scent. 
from Tree Hut. I'm trying to see if I could actually smell this. Really, really light scent. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like minty or like tingly on my lips, but I don't really feel anything from putting it on my hand. I think it's just like a regular lip butter. It's made with shea butter, rosehip oil, and fresh vanilla extract. It kind of does have like a light vanilla scent, but it's not quite as minty smelling as the rest of the body care. I usually, I don't really like pepperminty scents, but the candy cane scent from Tree Hut, I do like. I think it has a caramel note, maybe marshmallow or vanilla, something like that. It's just very sweet and I really like that one. I think that's all the stuff that I got from Walmart. Oh no, I got one other thing from Walmart. Oh, I did end up grabbing the Sour Blue Raspberry Scrub. I don't even know what this brand is. I think it's just like the Walmart brand. I'm not sure, but basically they have a ton of dupes of other Tree Hut scrubs. But this one, the Sour Blue Raspberry, it was just too good to leave behind. I love the color, but this, it really does smell like a sour blue raspberry candy, like a gummy candy or something. And the formula looks super thick too. It doesn't really look like the exact same as Tree Hut, but I don't know if you guys can tell like the texture of it. I really like this one. I just thought it was a fun scent. So I wanted to grab this one, even though I, I don't need any more scrubs. I have a few others that I got recently, but I've been trying not to buy as many. This one says blueberry and raspberry extract. So definitely very sour, fruity, like sugary scent. Okay, up next, I got a few things from the new Tree Hut Fall line. I did also grab the cinnamon dolce set. So I got the shower gel and I also got the scrub because this smells delicious. Like, even though I said I didn't want to buy many scrubs, I would get a backup of this one because it is so good. It smells so gourmand, sweet, warm, just comforting scent. I think it smells so good. It smells exactly like these cookies. I forgot the name, something with a B, but it reminds me of that because it has like a little bit of spice, almost like gingerbread. I think this smells delicious. I have already used the scrub and I've also used the shower gel. I love them both. Like I would get at least one backup set of this because I want to use this all year round, but especially during like fall and winter, this is a perfect nighttime scent. The last new scrub that I got is this one from Trader Joe's. I didn't even know this was like a thing or coming out at all. This is the pumpkin body scrub with exfoliating brown sugar. So I haven't had a chance to use this one yet, but I smelled it and it smells so good. It kind of smells like a pumpkin cookie butter or something. Very, very sweet. You can definitely smell that brown sugar note in there. Let me take off the little label thing here. But I mean, you could see like this is not going anywhere. It's a super thick scrub. So I'm wondering like how the formula is gonna be. Usually they have like a matching body butter to come out with it, but I didn't see a body butter. I just saw the scrub. And I think this was like five or $6 at Trader Joe's. Let's get into some of the new fragrance that I found. I showed you guys that I found the new Body Ecology scents. And they have this one, Winter Vanilla. And I swear I must have completely skipped over the notes whenever I first saw this, because I've seen quite a few people share this on Instagram whenever it first came out, but I just totally passed over these because neither of the scents, just based off the name, sounded very appealing to me. It just, I already have so many vanillas and I thought this was just like a straight up vanilla scent. I really didn't go out of my way to try to find it, but I was looking closer and I saw that it says midnight blueberry and vanilla, and I love blueberry scents. Like blueberry is always a note that I'm on the hunt for. So this has blueberry, warm vanilla, jasmine, and sandalwood. And I really have to say, this really is a winter vanilla, super cozy. I really wish that the blueberry note stood out more because I can barely smell it. Like it really is just giving mostly vanilla. It has like this hint of berries in there and I smell a little bit of like that woody kind of note there and the dry down coming from the sandalwood. It just smells more of like a cozy vanilla scent that you would wear whenever it's cold outside. Like it's nothing too overpowering at all. Like this is a scent that I would definitely wear to bed because it's not super, super strong. A lot of the Body Ecology scents actually are pretty light. They're definitely not as strong as like Bath and Body Works scents. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for or if you don't mind reapplying because this one I could definitely see fading very quick. This other one, Feeling Flannel. Like the packaging, I would have thought this is more of like a fresh balsam scent. I was expecting it to smell like a Christmas tree just based off the packaging, but it has notes of fresh berries, cozy musk, white lavender, and grapefruit. I thought the grapefruit note was kind of interesting in this. Like I wasn't expecting that. And the more I'm smelling this, 
the more I'm unsure about it. Like I probably could have went without getting this one. I do think it's a nice kind of cozy scent. I would like this more in like home fragrance rather than actually wearing it. So I think what I'm gonna do with this, since I did already buy it, I'm just gonna use it as a room spray. I also wanted to test out spraying some of my fragrance mists. Like the ones that smell more like this, that have more of like an aromatherapy vibe, because that's what this gives me is spraying them in like a really hot steamy shower. I have a shower spray from Truly and I feel like this could kind of give a similar effect. Like just do a few spritz of this and this would make for like a nice kind of self-care shower. I don't know if it's really gonna do anything but I thought maybe I could try using it for that. But otherwise I would probably just spray my sheets with it or something and just use it as a room spray. I got some little miniature stuff, only a couple things from the travel section but I saw these. I don't know if they're new. I doubt they are. They've probably been around. I just have skipped over them, but it's the Crest Scope little sprays. I think I've tried some from like Listerine that's similar to this, but just to kind of quickly freshen your breath, it was a two pack for like two something in the travel section. I also got a toothbrush holder because I needed a new one of those. Oh, these two things are actually from the Dollar Tree, but I got this lip plumper from LA Colors. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's in the shade Clearly Pink. And I just grabbed this little nail brush set. I just like to have these in the shower. My friend told me to do this and I've just been doing it ever since. I just keep one of those in my shower and I just scrub underneath my nails at night just to like clean under there really good. So if you have longer nails, they have packs like this at Dollar Tree. And the last few things, these I got at Walmart. I haven't bought a makeup palette in a long time, but I saw a girl on TikTok using this one and this is, not usually like the shades that I go for, but she used this shade here. It's like this taupey kind of shimmery shade and it looks so pretty. This is by the brand Profusion and it was only $5. It's the Euphoria palette. So they have like a mixture of shimmers and mattes. I like some of these other ones and this more like gunmetal shade could be nice. I mainly wanted it for that one shade. And then since I was already looking at the palettes, I noticed this smoky one and this is definitely more so like the colors that I go for. Just like a nice kind of neutral palette. It has a little bit of everything. But even if anything, if just like the shimmer shades are pretty good, I feel like that's worth it still. So I'm definitely gonna try those soon. I'm trying to see. Okay, I have two other things. I keep forgetting stuff that I have here. I don't think I showed this whenever I was at Walmart, but they do have the new Sabrina Carpenter scent. So this one is the Caramel Dream. It's the new one. It's like the flanker of the original, the one in like the pink chocolate bar packaging. It's so cute. And I don't know if the body mists are new or not, but I've never seen it before. So I grabbed the original one too. This smells delicious. Like this smells so, so good. I do have the perfume as well. And it's one of my favorite perfumes. It smells delicious. It has notes of candy, ginger, chocolate, marshmallow, milky vanilla. It's just like very creamy, sweet, really delicious vanilla scent. So when I heard there's a flanker, I went out to try to find it and they do actually have the perfume out now. I just haven't picked it up yet since I do have the fragrance mist. It has dark chocolate, caramelized amber, musk, citrus, almond, I'm not sure what else is in here. You know, I was expecting just like a straight up caramel version of the original and I'm not really getting that. Like I wish the caramel note was stronger, at least not listed here. It doesn't even have just a plain caramel note. Um, it says caramelized amber, but yeah, I was just expecting like the caramel version of the original and that's not really what I'm getting. I smell like maybe hints of the original with that chocolate and vanilla, but it dries down very powdery on my skin. That's probably from the musk and the amber. I was a little surprised of how powdery this dried down on my skin. It's definitely not as sweet as the original, at least on me. So I have to say, I actually like the original more. I was really excited for this one. Maybe the perfume smells different. Maybe it's stronger, sweeter or something, but the fragrance on me, at least, like on the dry down, it comes off very, very powdery. It has like a little bit of sweetness with the chocolate um, and like this kind of creamy note, but I'm still a little bit unsure about that one. I don't know why I'm like hot for some reason. I don't even know why. I have the AC on and everything. Um, but anyways, gonna wrap up this video with some new purses that I got. So a couple of these are from Target. Well, a few of them. Um, they were having a sale on all the accessories, so they were 30% off and I grabbed a few things. These might be new, but I also haven't checked out the Target per section in a while, so maybe they've been out. 
but I have been looking for some type of puffer tote. A lot of the puffer totes that I see though are pretty large. And for me, I usually carry smaller mini size bags. Like a lot of my bags are pretty small. I carry shoulder bags a lot, which reminds me, show you guys my new purse that I was carrying around today. This little furry juicy bag, like this is so cute. I'm so happy that I found it. It was at TJ Maxx for $25. I don't know if the stores still have it, Around me, it sold out pretty fast, so I haven't seen them in a while, but yeah, they were at TJ Maxx and I think Marshalls too. But back to the Target bag. So it's this little puffer tote. It's by the brand A New Day. Regular price, this is $30. I think that's a little bit overpriced in my opinion. I mean, they were on sale, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because I always shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I just feel like this should have been like, 20 maybe 25 dollars but that's just me i still really like it though and i bought it so um the inside of the toe is just like one big open compartment and it looks like it can hold a good amount of stuff which i like it does have a little side zipper pocket and it has a little pocket here on the side where you can just like slip in your phone it also comes with a crossbody strap that is detachable so that's good because these little top handles are pretty small but i don't know something about it I did really like it. I grabbed this one and I grabbed this other one. They're so similar, like they're the exact same material. But I grabbed the shoulder bag version of the puffer tote. Like it's so cute, it's so soft. I love the material. Again, from A New Day for $30. This one feels like, I guess like a little bit more structured because it does have this like harder plastic all around the sides and the bottom. So it feels a little bit like higher quality sort of. I just love me a little shoulder bag and I definitely haven't seen a puffer shoulder bag. I like that it has the gold hardware and I was surprised actually whenever I got home that it does have the same detachable crossbody strap. I personally, I don't think I would use the crossbody strap just cause I don't know how that would look on since the handle like sticks straight up like wearing it like a crossbody, I would probably just stick to wearing it like a shoulder bag. But this is pretty small too. Like it wouldn't leave a lot of room, especially if you were wearing like a jacket or something. I'm kind of debating if I want to keep both of them or not, just because they are pretty similar. But I also really like them both. So it's hard to decide. They had a few other colors too. And the last thing that I grabbed at Target is this little wallet purse. It's from Universal Thread and this was $15 regular price. So this I think is a good price because this is basically a dupe for the Coach wallets. If you've seen those Coach wallets with the chain, I forget what they're called, but I do have a couple of them. And this is way, way more affordable than those, but this is a little bit bigger than the Coach one. Let me actually grab mine. So here's the Coach one. This was from a Valentine's Day collection and I love this print. Like the cherry print was my favorite. So. I just want to show a size comparison to the coach one this one is larger wider in my opinion that's kind of a plus you can hold a bit more and you know these are not going to be for everyone obviously i do like carrying a lot of stuff with me but sometimes you just want like the bare minimum it's like the perfect size just to hold like a few cards your cash maybe like your key fob or like a small set of keys something like that and it has like the longer strap to where you can wear it like a crossbody purse and the strap actually is detachable as well so if you wanted to just use this as a regular wallet you can do that so i really like this i got the little brown sherpa one they had a few other colors they had like a denim one and they also had a neon one and the last thing that i got at burlington actually i was looking for this this is exactly what i was looking for like this is the type of puffer tote i had envisioned and i like I like that it has like the embroidered like hearts here it's from the brand like dreams i found this after i got the target one this one though was 17 dollars at burlington and this one is a bit bigger so it can hold a good amount of stuff it has that same like zipper side pocket here but it doesn't have like that slot on the other side where you can put your phone or something this one does have a crossbody strap too but this one's just like attached to the purse so you know, you can't take this one off, but if you don't like it, you can easily hide it, which I like, because I would probably just carry it like this. For some reason, I really like this. I think this would make a great like travel bag too. It can hold like your iPad, a book or something in here and a bunch of other stuff. So those are the new bags that I got. However, I have purchased quite a few others that are Juicy Couture. So I kind of want to do like a separate Juicy Pink Haul 
bunch of girly stuff that I got. So I'll do that soon if you guys are interested in seeing it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, especially if you made it to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sticking around. I wanna go check out the new Christmas stuff at Bath & Body Works. I also really wanna go to the Bath & Body Works outlet, but I'm waiting for like a Monday, like a Monday or Tuesday to go, because I feel like those are good days to go. And maybe check out the new Victoria's Secret stuff, because they do have a few new collections coming out. If you like the shopping videos, I wanna do kind of like more vlog style videos too. I just I have a lot of ideas. I just, I need to get back on it. But if you're not already, I will have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below. You guys can follow me on there. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.